Hi, and welcome to the Unknown Regions Podcast with Jeremiah Hamilton. This is actually a review segment of the Unknown Regions Podcast because we just finished going through the Audible of Thrawn Alliances. Stick around for the end of the video for the question of the day, Thrawn Alliances. That's right, the book by Timothy Zahn, brought to life by Disney once again. Now, Thrawn, the first book, left us with a couple questions. What happened between Anakin and Thrawn during the Clone Wars? We actually get to find out that in this book. If you guys don't want to know any spoilers, we will be talking a uh, spoiler review later on. This is the non-spoiler review of the book. This is just me giving you a genuine opinion about the book. I'll give you a little bit of details here to kind of tease you, but not too many spoilers in this book. But if you haven't read it already or aren't planning on buying the book because you feel like it's too expensive, I would suggest going and doing the membership on Audible where you get one free book a month and I would use your free book on Audible for this particular book. It is a great storyline. I believe it's only 12 bucks a month on Audible to actually get the one free book. So every month, instead of paying 30 bucks for a story, you can get it for $12, basically. It's a great deal, and it's a steal for all of you out there as well. But anyways, on to the storyline. Basically, you get to see some uh, layered combinations of Thrawn and Vader, and then Thrawn and Anakin, where they go through a similar mission, kind of reminiscing the past. Both of them are trying to figure out each other. It's a great story, a lot of detail, a lot of descriptive, like, so if you've seen the Sherlock Holmes series, for instance, uh, Sherlock can kind of see things before they happen because he's he's planning them out in his head. Same, similar things with Thrawn and Vader. And it's kind of cool to see how different their their skill with this is. I don't know. There's not much to say without spoiling it. You get to see some Clone Wars era stuff. And Padme is really well written in this. A lot of the Imperial officers and Rook get a lot of highlight in the story as well. If you think that this is just going to be a nether boring one page story like the very first Thrawn book. If you've read it, it's not. It's actually a lot more quick in pace, a lot similar to uh, the second two Aftermath books by Chuck Wendy, and kind of see what I'm saying if you've listened to those books or read those books. Just, if, if you guys haven't, go check it out, and then come check out on the channel later on. We're going to have a live discussion of Thrawn Alliances. Alright, so the question of the day on this particular episode is what characters would you like to see in an upcoming novel? We know that we have Claudia Gray giving us an Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon novel, so I get to leave, relive the Master and Apprentice books that uh, I loved as a kid during the prequel era. And also, E.K. Johnson's doing a Padme book, which I heard Claudia Gray was a little upset that she didn't get that book, but Getting to write Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon, I think, made her happy enough to where she wasn't going to complain. So, anyways, like I said, like and subscribe, and may the Force be with you always.